Now, before I pass this back on to Pankaj as an extension to this discussion and what you mentioned, Praveen, you said mm -hmm. intent alone is not, intent is there, but just as a starting point. And that, that leads me to a lot of concern that a number of people have also raised is, are good intentions alone sufficient? I mean, that itself is not sufficient. And so then the issue of, you know, experience and all the other things are kind of topped on top of it. So that becomes a topic of discussion right. and concern for a number of people who are saying, hey, you have these other parties, they might not be perfect, but you have, you know, them doing it for a long time, for whatever it's worth. It, it's flawed, no right. doubt, but right. do we want to have a Janta Party experiment that happened in the, you know, 70s and 80s, which failed? So mm -hmm. that kind of concern is also there. So is intent alone right. good enough? If you could quickly comment on that, then I'll take it to Pankaj after that. The very reason I brought it up, Pran, is because I was trying to say, yes, intent has to be backed by capability. And we need to be upfront about this fact that we might be new to the game, but we'll be quick to learn. So there might be some small things here and there on the way, but we need to understand that these the traditional parties don't even have the intent. So if you don't have the intent, the possibility of any good or any meaningful result is completely washed away. In our case, we are bringing in the intent and certainly bringing various kinds of experience. So we will be picking up capability. We will be developing capability. I think that is the reason I said that we might be a little short or appear to be a little short on capability sometimes. But clearly with the intent being in place, that is something we will we will build on very fast. But you're right. We need capability. There is no denying that. Okay, excellent. Now I can see Pankaj's video as well. So great, Pankaj. Welcome back. I don't know if you caught the conversation. We were talking about intent and saying is intent alone good enough? You need other things as well to be able to execute and deliver as a government. Agreed. Agreed. Uh, intent alone will not be enough because perhaps I, I also believe that a lot of people did come with the same intent to make, make the changes they wanted. But somewhere down the line, they refused to take the hard decisions. They refused to take actions which were required to really make those changes. For example, the moment we saw a couple, uh, two days ago that there was something fishy uh, going on in our own party, we were quick to take action. Idea was to send the message across loud and clear that we will not tolerate what is not to be tolerated. Um, think of it that it is very difficult to uh, take guarantees or ensure that no one will be corrupted in, the, uh, in his or her lifetime. But if as an organization we ensure and we, we send this message out that we will be quick in taking decisions, we will be quick in passing the justice and whatever is the right action we are ready to take, then that's what makes the difference. And we believe in it. Even in Delhi Assembly, if you think of it, the, on the last, in last one week, we realized that one of our candidates who was already nominated, who was already uh, uh, supposed to fight election, who had filed on our own papers on uh, Ahmad B. Simbal Jharu, uh, he was uh, refused support just because we realized that he did not file the nomination in a right way with us. He he hid some information. So uh, so this is the difference we want to bring to the table. That here is a party which believes that certain things need to be done, and whatever be, be the cost of that, we will execute it also. And per, uh, I feel that uh, most of the other things uh, Praveen has already said, so no point in, uh, I won't like to repeat that. Okay. Thank you so much, Pankaj. I think from what I gather from what you're saying is that, you know, we're not perfect. AAP is not by no means perfect. We might make mistakes, but we are open to taking corrective action. That's basically what, if I heard you right. Absolutely. Right. Absolutely. Can, I, can I add a small bit, Pran, on that? Sure, sure. Go ahead. Actually, this uh, uh, capability question tends to get raised in the context of the short stint we had in the Delhi government. We need to understand the context of that. One, we were not a majority government. Two, there was this looming national election in May because of which the other political parties were out to get us on everything small. So the media did often blow out things out of proportion. So we also need to see that it's not that some of the things we've heard via the media or the way it has got interpreted in this short stint was also 
driven by the context we were in. I'm not trying to say that everything we did was right or something, but just to get the right perspective, it is also the circumstance that apparently sometimes blew things out of proportion and made it look as if uh, things were not being handled well, just that small bit. Not an excuse, agreeing to your point that we have a lot to learn, but just wanted to put in that small bit. Right. 